Peace be upon you, my dear followers, precious friends and esteemed companions. Sometimes we are merely human in the world we live in. We do not always have the same strength. While the sound of a small mosquito can test our limits, at times we can display great strength and resilience under significant burdens. We are human. Therefore give advice. Advice benefits the believers, but sometimes it benefits in one way and sometimes in another. Sometimes it brings hearts to tranquility, like in the story of Hanzala. At other times, it delivers its message. There are times in this worldly life when we struggle to bear certain things. It is at those moments that we need the compassion of a power that will hold our hand. You know how it is talked about, when there is a problem, you deserve better than that. Oh, forget it. We often try to console you with words like, may they be sacrificed for you. However, the word consolation often leads to more troubles and adds more burdens. Look, our Lord, the Blessed and the Lord has infinite compassion and a special love and concern for each and every one of us. Look at what is beginning. It is stated that Allah, the Blessed, does not burden anyone beyond their capacity. This is a guarantee for us. I have a guarantee that I will not burden my servants with more than they can bear. We see that we are not compelled to accept the burdens that come our way with a mere thank you attitude because we have not seen our Prophet, peace be upon him, giving such a suggestion to those who lived in Mecca and faced the harshest attacks. This is your fate. It has been written this way. There is nothing to be done. Those of you who have died are martyrs, and those of you who are wounded are veterans, saying, let us see what the Lord does. Whatever he does is beautiful. They have not left us in peace. Additionally, our Prophet, peace be upon him, has directed believers towards solutions through reliance on this faith. How do we understand this? For example, the migration to Abyssinia. Was not his own daughter sent to Abyssinia with Hazrat Osman? Did they not migrate to Abyssinia in search of a way out instead of simply bowing their heads and saying that our fate is bad and our luck is dark? Then, when our Prophet went to Ta'if and sought refuge in Allah for a way out, I expressed my sorrow and grief only to Allah, just as Jacob, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, I only complain of my suffering and my grief to Allah. As he said, Indeed, I am migrating to our Lord. Indeed, I am going to our Lord. Referring to his grandfather, Hazrat, Did he not seek a path to truth like Ibrahim? Peace be upon him. He went to Ta'if for migration. Prophet, peace be upon him, instructed his companions in Medina. After the events in Medina, when the tyranny of the oppressors did not cease, military and economic measures began to be taken to deter them. In other words, when we look at it, yes, Allah, the blessed and exalted, only burdens his servant with what they can bear. He presents each of these burdens with solutions one by one so that they can be lifted. part. Although Allah has decreed this test for us, He has not prevented us from seeking ways out of it. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, has shown us the way to take action towards finding a way out. In doing so, He has motivated us with His extraordinary verses. Personal development is a wonderful phrase that encompasses life, motivation, and all of this. 1. One should not take on more than they can handle. Indeed, with hardship comes ease. Indeed, with hardship comes ease. On one side, it is a magnificent guarantee that Allah does not burden a soul beyond its capacity. Indeed, with every difficulty, there is surely ease. With every